Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. My no items run didn't work out so well, imagine that. But we're gonna take Judas again because this run is gonna be a variation on that theme. This was suggested by a user, again, I apologize, but I've completely forgotten your name. This is a run where I can only take three items, so I can only take, I can only go to the item room or the shop or uh, take an item from a deal with the devil three times over the course of the entire video. Also, if I replace my spacebar item, that doesn't count as like a net zero change. Like, for example, if I got Book of Revelations and then traded it out for Shears, that's still two items that I picked up. So, I think this one gives us a little bit more chance for success than the last one. And of course, the reason I picked Cain again, or sorry, Judas again, is because he starts with the Book of Belial, which gives him kind of one half decent item right off the bat. And I think gives me a shot at actually completing this. Otherwise, might be impossible. So the cool thing about this one is that I'm really gonna have to watch my upgrades wisely to make sure that I'm not picking things that are terrible. But also you gotta weigh your options, you know? Like picking up something right at the beginning is more valuable because you'll have it for more of the game. Whereas picking up something more at the end may be less valuable. So let's see what we got right off the bat here. Mom's pad. Well, that's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? I won't be picking that up. We'll go straight into this boss fight with two monstros who both decided to jump at the same time. I guess they've been listening to Van Halen. Yeah, if I could just watch out here. I gotta be careful still. I think the trade-off here is that these guys seem to have a lot less health than your regular Monstro and are no smarter than your average bear. So if we can get this last one to die, just pick up that HP upgrade. Hmm. You know, I do think one HP upgrade at the very least is necessary. We, we might get more from pills, we might get more from tarot cards, but for now, I'll take that. So my, my countdown is now at one. Basement part one, finished. I've already used one item, only two left to go. Pick up this key, move downwards. So already I'm starting to feel the pressure of this one. That like, oh man, should I take that HP upgrade? I mean, Judas only has one heart. I mean, what was I thinking? Am I gonna get through the womb without taking a single hit of damage? Unfucking likely Can you just die, please? You're, you're inconveniencing me. Please let me end your life. Oh, come on. Really? More hits? Finally. Well, thanks for the nickel, actually. That was pretty good. Potential to buy a battery from the shop. I would definitely give up another item for that. Hmm. Bust open these flies. Murder these human popcorn. And then... Go visit the item room, which hopefully has something amazing. Because if not, not really much use for it, is there? That key is useful, though. Pill jar? Pill bottle? Uh, don't foresee that being too useful. Uh, I'm gonna use Book of Belial on this room. And hopefully this guy drops some tarot cards or pills. If he does... Maybe I could pick up some extra health. Alright, there's a tarot card. The devil, that's a good tarot card. Increased damage. Uh, I'll be able to use that on the boss. If, for some reason, my Book of Belial doesn't recharge before the boss fight, because it gives you a little bit of a damage bump. I'm not sure if it gives you max damage, but it certainly uh, upgrades your damage a little bit. I would also love to pick up some spirit hearts, if at all possible. For example, like a Book of Revelations wouldn't be a bad pickup, but I kind of don't want to lose my spirit, or my uh, Book of Belial. Bombs are key. Okay, now I got two bombs, no keys. I'm not sure if that's better, but if I come across some tinted rocks, I can make use of it. Might. Oh, there we go. Tinted rocks right off the bat. Put a bomb here, maybe take out some flies with it as well. Two spirit hearts, that's fantastic. Now we're cooking with gas. Gotta remind myself, still two items left to go. Let's fight the boss and see where, we're, see, where, see where we are from there. Use the flies, not a problem. Again, I'd probably would love to do a deal with the devil, like a really cheap deal with the devil to give me brimstone or something like that, or mom's knife, would maybe be the only way I could see myself pulling this off with any kind of efficacy. Let's abandon that HP up for now. Don't want either of those. Maybe, we'll come back and see if we want that HP up. I probably don't, just because I can get something from pills. I'd prefer to get something that does increase damage. Uh, but we might not have a choice. I'm really hoping to get more money, more bombs, and more keys here, because I would love to go to the shop. Let's 
sadly, I don't have the, the means with which to do that right now. I could bomb my way in from the secret room, assuming the secret room is the room directly above the shop on my mini-map right now, and assuming I got more bombs so that I could actually accomplish that, because right now I don't have the resources with which to make that dream a reality. I feel like I need to have like a Jimmy Wales appeal on the top of this video, like, please, Binding of Isaac, can you donate your bombs to me? Well, thank you, that was nice. Unfortunately, there's three possible locations for the secret room. This could be one right here. And since it's not there, I'm just gonna save my bomb and go on my merry fucking way. It's a shame, but oh well. Still two items left to go. We'll leave that money. And head down to the next floor. Not gonna pick up the HP upgrade. We'll save it for something more useful. Start by going down here. You know, a Book of Belial is not a bad idea to use in this room because those double flies historically have given me some problems. I'm gonna save the devil just in case I end up in a, like a terrible situation where I've accidentally used Book of Belial directly before the boss. Which is maybe not the best idea because the bosses tend to be a little bit easier than some of the harder rooms that you can run across at this point. No keys, so I can't go to the item room, so that makes my decision here a little bit easier. Or a little bit keysier, you get... It's a, it's a locksmith joke, uh, you wouldn't understand. No need to get that sense. Alright, we're fighting Pride. Pride, uh, total douchebag in the last video. Ended one of my lives right off the get-go. Goddamn Pride took me down to my prime. Okay, he's dead now. He can't bother us anymore. Anarchist cookbook. No thank you. Although that would solve my bomb problem. Uh, that is definitely not better than the Book of Belial. Plus, I don't read nonfiction. One bomb. We can use that to get to that treasure chest in here. I'll probably take them up on that. This guy would finally die. Isla Zeus, guys. Nice to see you again, buddy. Well, there's another bomb in there anyway, so obviously it's a no-brainer. Go for this chest and pick up three bombs for the price of one. I mean, there. Okay, where are you going? Stop with your linear movement and your Jello pudding pops and your herbin and your derbin. In the oh, that's tempting, but I'm probably gonna bypass that. Shame, ten bombs is a really good item, but uh, you know you can pick up bombs like that, so I don't feel like it's that necessary. Like I can get ten bombs by myself. I don't need the mob trap room's help. This is a shitty room. Got to be kind of careful here. Say what you will about bomb flies. I mean, they are more dangerous, but at least with those guys, you can murder one and take the rest out. These guys might be here for ten fucking years trying to make this happen. There's one, and the rest should go down pretty quickly considering how often I've hit them. Dumb damage! Probably one more hit on this guy. Ugh! Terribly stupid. Let's see what we have from this boss. Fistula! Alright, Fistula ended one of our runs in the last video as well. Apparently Fistula hates Judas! Whoa. Fire away from our relatively safe corner of the world here. Make sure we're getting as many silkworms as possible. Ah! Don't get into my corner of the world. This is my safe spot. This is my happy place. No shooter McGavin having sex with my grandma. Band-Aid is a really good upgrade. What does Satan have? No, nothing good. Um, you know what? Let's pick up the Band-Aid. One item remaining. I'm not happy about that. Now I really, really need something that's... The reason I did that is so that I could, uh, you know, maybe make a deal with the devil with my increased health. But we'll have to carry this down to the next floor, of course. Only one... Oh, that was terrible. Only one item left. And the longer it goes on, the more desperate I get. It's like real life. Okay, we did it. Can we? Uh, okay, there we go. Double flies. Would love. Oh, the tinted rock! And I don't even have to use a bomb to get to it because it's surrounded by tunt. Yeah, two more spirit hearts. That's fantastic. Like a cash for life commercial. Now, if we could only shoot this TNT. God, there we go. Look at the 
Lyle's ready. Lots of bombs, but I don't really need to find the secret room. Because, frankly, there's a, a lot of places where it could be right now, and I don't want to go searching for all of them. Could waste my entire bomb collection here. Managed to get out of this room okay. We'll put a bomb here. Get to this chest. Pick up a pill. Health up, please. Bad gas. All right, well, you win this game. Let's try this. One time. One time I'm going to look for the secret room. God damn it. So many possible locations for it right now. Um, we will not go to the shop yet. We'll save it for a time when we have some more money. I've only got one more item left. Gotta choose wisely. But I, it was so far, so good. Really. Doing really well on health, at the very least. That's a bad gas pill. I have no need for that in my life. This room shouldn't be too bad! <laughs> Of course, I, every, every time I say too bad, I end up getting hit, so it's kind of like the game's mocking me. Like, too bad, Ryan! Too bad! Oh, of course, this one has to immolate at the last fucking second, make my life ten times harder. Get over here! Sorry, get over here! And our pill this time is something good? Bad trip! Fantastic, lost a whole spirit heart. We have the devil and the magician. Devil's a much better card. Once you figure out how to aim. Whoa. Almost took a bullet there. Whiz right by me. It's a Reagan situation. That is done. I think. These guys are surprisingly resilient. I need a passive damage upgrade. Or an active damage upgrade. That's fine by me too. I need some kind of damage upgrade though. That half heart is totally worthless to me. Okay, this is a bookable aisle candidate for sure. Should be able to take these guys out in one or two shots each. Except for the champion, who might take a couple more. Okay, turret's dead. Now things become much, much simpler. Can we sneak it? There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Locomote, however you know how. Don't really want that key. Oh god, the ooze guys! They're on to me! And they're not eyeless! Hey, I heard you killed my brother, eyeless! Sorry, Eiffel. Please, please get down to the ooze state. You're making my life a living hell right now. God! I wish I had some taunt right now! Okay, there's only two left. Made it work, okay. Whew. And the same thing. Second verse, same as the first. Much of the same. And this guy's trying to flank me, he succeeded! So much for that bandage upgrade. In hindsight, damage upgrade probably would have been more useful. There goes all of my spirit hearts. Really, I'm hesitating because I don't want to use my devil card, but I should probably be using it right now. Come on! Goddamn embarrassing at this point. I can't actually kill. Uh, only one heart left. I lost like six hearts on this room. Ooze guys, you're a terrible family. What are you feeding these kids? Oh, okay, there we gotcha. Well, I kind of made it. Thanks for the bombs. All right, well, we'll fight the boss. See if we're. At the very least, just put us out of our misery right away, please, Chad. Because I don't want to deal with this bullshit too much longer. It was looking so good for a while there. Oh, fuck. Okay, the Brit. Uh, nah. Uh, da -da. Okay. Oh, this is it. This is the end. This is the big one, Martha. God, get. <laughs> oh, it's so scary. Oh, man. Well, it's a short episode, but it, it took a lot out of me. As always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please continue to suggest challenge runs, potentially ones that I might actually stand a fucking chance of completing. As always, I'll see you next time.